Welcome to LTHS Physics, Physics C, and uh, we're going to do another example of uh, using conservation of energy to study the motion of an object as it moves from one point to another. Uh, this example actually is relatively easy, not too long, um, and we're going to do everything in variable form all the way up until the very end, and then uh, we will give you some numbers to plug in. Uh, so here we go. Uh, and this part, this problem also has a little bit of review to it, um, and I'll go through that briefly. Uh, but here we go. So it's really simple. Let's say we have a loop-de-loop. -loop. And to keep life simple, let's say the loop-de-loop -loop is a circle. It has a radius r off the ground here. Okay. Um, now, in real life, these are teardrop and everything, but we'll keep it really simple. Call it r, and it's just a circle. And you've got a, a roller coaster that has a mass m. Okay. And um, as the engineer designing this ride, um, you want to know what is the minimum velocity here, what's v naught, such that your roller coaster makes it, negotiates the loop without the passengers falling out. Okay, so in other words, you didn't have to wear a lap belt. Uh, now, some other information there is a force of friction acting on the cart or on the roller coaster. Now, when we do this, we're going to just make that a constant number. We're going to say the force of friction on average is blank. So that's our number. Okay? Um, and um, I want to know uh, how fast it's got to be going here to get to there. So in order to do that, there, there's something else we've got to do first. When the roller coaster gets up to here, it's still got to be moving with some minimum velocity. We've got to find that first. So what's the min velocity here? We'll call that VF. Uh, so the passengers don't fall out. That's a review problem. That's just a net force equals MA problem. But I will do that really quick. So let's say here's your passenger or the roller coaster car for that matter. What forces act on the passengers when they're here? Well, they have their weight, MG, pulling down. And also, uh, if it's a co uh, the co coaster, it's the track pushing down. If it's the passenger, it's the seat pushing down the passenger. Either way, it's a normal force pushing down. So we've got mg, and we've got fn acting down on the passengers. If we're at the minimum speed for these guys to just get around that turn or that, that loop-de-loop -loop without falling out, well, as they, as they keep going, if their speed becomes less and less, the normal force decreases. And at that minimum speed where they're just making it around, f normal approaches zero. So if we do Newton's second law, and that force equals ma, okay, we're looking in the radial direction, which for this problem is toward the center of the circle, which is down. Okay? So you write mg plus fn equals m, and then ar is v squared over r. And we're saying we're going the minimum speed, so fn drops to 0. So then you just solve for V, and you get V final. Uh, your M's drop out now um, because that dropped to zero. The M's drop out, you multiply by R, and you get root GR. So that's our min speed at the top of the ride to get them safely through this, the loop. So now we're going to use our conservation of energy equation to figure out the velocity down here, okay, which is going to be faster than this, obviously. So we'll call that point A and this up at the top, point B. And we're going to go from A to B. And um, our conservation of energy equation looks like this. So that, that point A, there might be kinetic and potential energy. Uh, there might be some work done by a non-conservative force. At the end, um, there might be some potential and kinetic energies at point B. Okay. All right. Well. Um, at point A, is there any potential energy? Well, depends where you call zero height. I'm going to call the ground zero height. So this is zero. Uh, there is kinetic energy at point A. Hello, we're trying to find the min velocity right there, right? So there's got to be kinetic energy. There, is, there are two non-conservative forces acting on the roller coaster as it goes from A to B. Uh, well, there's three forces total. There's gravity, which is going to end up being here. That's our, that goes in our potential energy term. There is the normal force. But the normal force is always perpendicular to the motion of the roller coaster. So the normal force doesn't do any work. And then there is our frictional force, which we're going to give you. So the work done by that will just be 
force of friction times the distance gone. Oh, and that's two more givens. So you know the radius of this thing. I'm also going to give you a total distance from point A to point B. That's a, not a displacement, but a distance, okay? And so we'll just call that D, okay? Um, which will be significantly bigger than R. So we know that is minus friction times distance. Uh, and it's minus because as the roller coaster moves forward, friction acts backward on it. That's a negative dot product. At point B, you got height, so you've got potential energy. And we're moving. We actually found that min velocity here, so you've got kinetic energy. So now we're going to plug in our terms. Um, kinetic energy at A is 1 half mv. And then A, we call that v naught squared. We're trying to find v naught minus the force of friction times distance. So that's a negative work term. Uh, this equals mg. Well, what's the height? The height from the ground to there is 2 times the radius. It's the diameter. So I'll put 2r, OK? And then plus 1 half m v final squared, which I know. v final is root gr. Uh, so then we do a little more subbing in here. 1 half m v naught squared minus force of friction times distance equals 2 mgr plus v, v final is root gr. V final squared is just gr, so we got a half mgr. Okay, I'm gonna. These are like terms. I'll combine them. So I got a half m v naught squared minus force of friction times distance equals uh, two and a half, or I'll call that five halves mgr. Uh, now, if if you say to me right now, no no numbers, solve for v naught. I'm getting rid of my fractions. I'm multiplying everything by 2. So we've got mv naught squared minus 2 force of friction distance equals 5 mgr. Um, I'm going to add this over to here. And then I'm going to divide by m. And then I'm going to square root. And that's our expression for v. So v naught is the square root of that plus that. So 5mgr plus 2ffd all over m. OK? So uh, in other words, you have to give this thing some potential energy, and you gotta, um, you're going to lose some energy in the track and the car as heat due to friction. Um, so if at this point they gave you numbers for the mass of the car, gravity, radius of the, of the circle, that force of friction and the distance, uh, you'd be able to solve for v naught and actually get a number. So, but I think we'll leave it here. Um, there's a nice nifty expression for, for v naught, and uh, that's a, a nice ex a tidy example of using conservation of energy to study the motion of an object as it goes from point A to point B. Uh, thank you very much.